In the last video, we installed a theme, and now in this video, we have to go customize it. So let's go to your dashboard, okay? And I'm gonna go to, under appearance, there's themes. So last time we picked and installed and activated the theme, now we're gonna go and customize it. So click on customize, <coughs> okay? And of course, yours will look different on the right-hand side here because you have a different theme. Okay, so under, um, let's go scroll down to home page settings. And again, you might have different options here depending on what your uh, theme is. Okay, so for mine, I have home page settings. I click on it. And it says my home page displays your latest posts. So I don't really plan on having blog posts for my website, especially for this assignment. So I'm gonna go choose a static page instead. Okay, so, and I have to go select for my home page. I'm gonna choose sample page, okay? So sample page was something that was by default uh, automatically generated for me. I can now go to my pages later on and change that sample page and call it home page and add uh, other things to it, okay? So I'm then gonna go publish to make this change and then we go back. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to widgets. And the reason is because now when I take a look at this page here, um, I have all this bunch of stuff on my on my right in my sidebar. I don't really want my recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories. I don't really want all this stuff here. So I'm gonna go to widgets. So this is something that's called widgets. Okay, so sidebar, I actually want to, um, I'll, I'll leave the search, but I don't want recent posts. I'm gonna remove it. I don't want recent comments, so I'll remove it. Don't really want archives, remove. Don't wanna show my categories, remove. And I don't want my meta either. I don't want any of that on my page. Okay, then I publish. All right, so let's see how that looks. That's a lot better. Okay, and then here, I'll leave the footer here, and that's looking a bit better. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back. I closed it, so I closed that out of there. I can at any time go back to, um, to my themes and customize again and change things, okay? I can also change background if I want to right now. So let's go see what my background is right now. Okay, so I can select a background image. Go if I want it to. Some here, maybe I'll choose that one. Okay. Doesn't seem to show through, but let me just publish that. Okay. All right, so what I was doing was going to pages, all pages, so pages, take a look at all pages here. Oh, okay, so these up here are just sort of notifications. I can, this one talks about, you know, what 000 web host is, so I don't really need to see that every time, so I'm gonna close that, so it's less annoying. And this theme recommends the following plugins, uh, I don't really want to install these yet, so I'm gonna close it, okay? All right, so now it's a bit cleaner. Now I can actually see what I need to see. Okay, so sample page is what my homepage is gonna go to. I'm gonna go here and do edit, okay? Now it's my front page. I'm gonna call this welcome to, welcome to my store, okay? And then for this text, I don't have to rewrite all this text. I can just go to the website that I am, you know, copying off and just go place that text here. So that just saves you the trouble of having to come up with your own text, right? You don't need to have to come up with your own text. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy some of this. Some of this text here. And I don't need those. All right, so I think 
that's fine for now. Then I'm going to update. Okay. So welcome to my store. So I'm going to go and maybe preview. Let's see what that looks like. Preview desktop. Preview the new tab. <clears throat> So that's what it looks like now. I have to, you know, create a menu and do all that, but I'll, I'll leave it for now. Um, I'm not going to create a menu yet because we still have to install um, Word, uh, WordPress uh, WooCommerce. WooCommerce is an e-commerce plugin. So a plugin is something that adds functionality or extra features to your website. Okay. So what we have right now is just a skeleton site here. Uh, you can. You can go into plugins and add extra plugins. So, for example, you might have a plugin for, um, you know, for a slideshow. You can have a plugin for e-commerce. You can have a plugin for sending emails. Plugin for many different things. All right. So that will be in our next video.